day, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Sir Reginald. Welcome back to some more Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. Hello, Puno. Hey, let's go find that necklace. Okay. Okay, oh, gee, Rick. Bell him! I told you! Blaming me for losing the sketch, and you had it! That bitch! She's blaming people! Silence, you twit! Now's not the time to get hung up on stupid details. We must study the sketch. Go, go! <laughs> oh! God dang it, Bobby! Oh, 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 look! Wow, this Mario guy looks so manly. Check out that pussy mustache. How handsome! You know something, though, my lovelies. I swear, I've seen this gentleman before. No shit. Ah! He's Mr. Mustache. Go, go! <laughs> Ah, I don't believe this. Vivian, this is without doubt all your fault. Why are you kidding me? How the shit is it her fault? I'll be dealing out some strict punishment later, my dearie. Oh yes, I promise you that. What? That's not fair. You're the one who had the... Silence, you squirrel brain. Don't you cup that insolent down to me! Ugh, this is not fair. I imagine her as a teenager. And about that necklace, I was thinking of returning it to you, but no more! Aww. Too bad. And since you caused this problem, you have to figure out how to find this Mario chump! I'm on my way. Uh, go. That lady in the blue hat is a bitch! Pretty sure I've had a manager like that before. Oh dear. I, I'm not even, like, I'm not even kidding. I see a book behind the tree. They'll never suspect a thing. <laughs> Everyone, stealth mode. <laughs> oh god! Oh, it did work. It did. Fuck, man. E. Is he stuck somewhere? Oh dear. He'll find his way here eventually. He found his there way he here. There he is. E. Fuck, man. Don't. <laughs> Give me that. I'm rich. Damn it. Oh. Hi. Well, if it isn't Mario. Shiny mustache or no, you can't be too bright if you came here looking for us. And that's exactly what I did. And you know why? Because we were waiting for you. Oh, that's them. They're the ones who had the, uh, wait a minute, what? You've been waiting for Mario? What's that supposed to mean, you weirdo? I have no quarrel with you, but I simply can't allow you to hunt for the crystal stars. And so I'll be taking that little map of yours just as soon as I deal with you. Uh-huh. Hey, what's your deal? How do you know about the map and the crystal stars, you bitch? Have you been talking to Princess Petch or... Wait, what am I saying? The real question is, who the heck are you freaks? Those who seek names are often disappointed, but if you insist, we'll tell you. We are... <laughs> the three. Shadow Beauties! The three Shadow Beauties? Vivian, you nick and poop! What are you babbling about? That's Shadow Sirens! I don't see three beauties. I see two, but then there's you and you're plug ugly. Oh, God. <sighs> oh, right, sis. I'm sorry. It's just, you always call us lovelies and... That jerk. It's just a figure of speech. Oh, have you got some fierce punishment coming your way? I feel bad for her. Aw, oh, gee whiz. I hate being punished. That's for later, though. First, we have to deal with this Mario and his friends. Let's do it, my lovelies. Or rather, my lovely and ugly Marilyn Vivian. That's... What's wrong with her? The matter of the three Shadow Sirens will be more than enough to win the day. Okay. Oh, jeez. 
Jeez. I know who I'm going for. It's most unlucky that our sights are set on you. Well, unlucky for you, of course. Marilyn, Vivian, let's show them precisely what we can do. Go! Yes, sis. Okily dokily. Oh my, what's happening right now? Oh Jesus, I can't control myself. <laughs> what the hell's that bitch? That's Beldam. Well, damn, she's a bitch. Kill her. That is what we refer to as a hag. She uses ice, cause, well, she's ice cold bitch. It's hard to guard against that stuff. Sorry. I always felt bad fighting Vivian. Yeah. The hell's that thing? That's Merlin! She's big and she can use lightning! She's evil. Not really. She doesn't know what she's doing. Yeah. Oh, oh dear. The bitch! I gotta take her out. Who that person? Oh, I got the sound. Oh, tiny sounds. That's Vivian! She's a sweetheart! She sets people on fire! If you mess with her. Ah! You're tougher than I thought, Mr. Mustache. I guess it's time to stop toying with you, hmm? Oh god, it hurts. Oh god, it hurts even more. That bitch. Oh dear. Oh boy, look what time it is. Oh Jesus. Time for another $5 fill up. It's not the same without Colonel Sanders. Well, you can still do voice. If you want. Mario. It's finger looking good. <laughs> Oh god, I almost had 666. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's take this bitch out. Good style. You're right, cunt. Ah! Now it's up to you. Ouch. I hate it. Like, she's always so sad. Yeah. Bell Dam is just jealous. Bell Dam is a bitch. I don't care if that's not how you properly pronounce her name. I'm gonna say it like that just because she's a Bell bitch. Bell Dam. Well, Bell Dam, what are you doing? Well, damn, Bell Dam. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got a bingo. Oh, God. No, you put that down. Stop that. Oh, God. Hi, Marley. Hi, lady. Look at that rainbow effect on her. That's dangerous. Good enough. Gah. I know what to do. Here you go. Let me knock you unconscious so you don't have to live with her. <laughs> I'm just gonna put you in a coma for a little bit. <laughs> You'll be fine. And put you out of your misery. Ooh, neat. I still feel so bad. Yeah. Oh, maybe we were just a touch overconfident. Hey, you think? Marilyn, Vivian, you lumps. We would have won if you two pulled your weight. Uh, excuse me? <laughs> Both of you prepare for a world-class punishment session when we get home. Bye. You got a necklace! Flurry's favorite necklace. That's Flurry's necklace! Nah, it just told me. <laughs> yes, let's take it to her. Okay. No. We're just gonna cut back to when we get back to her house. Okie dokie. Vivian's my favorite. I hate having to fight her, but you know what? I do not feel Vivian bad about jumping on Bell Dan's too. face. That bitch deserved it. Yeah, we're here. Hi, lady! Hey! Here you go! Oh, you delightful fellow! You found my necklace! I'm beside myself, truly! But you still mustn't see me. Please, leave the necklace by the door and wait a moment. She's a ghost! Oh, splendid, splendid! 
My poor soul ravishing necklace. And the wash and joy. Oh crap, what's happening? Oh boy. Hi there. Please God, no. Oh, oh my word, Mario isn't it? Are you? You! The one year old little necklace hunter? Well, my, 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 aren't you a fine specimen of a man? Yes, indeed. I'm gonna ruin my throat doing that. Look at his face. I'd be traumatized too. I simply must thank you for your graciousness. But how to do it? Hmm, perhaps if I grabbed you and gave you a little sugar? No. Uh, please, no. No. Stop it. Here I come, handsome. Time to give you a proper thank you. Pucker up. No, God. No! Oh, I'm dead. Oh, Mario, you're just the cutest little thing I've ever had laid eyes on. Oh, my God. Yeah, sure, and that's that. So tell me, are you truly looking for the crystal stars? The very same crystal stars spoken of by all the low life in Rogue Park? Mmm, a danger field of search for beautiful jewels. How absolutely marvelous! And here I was thinking about how frightfully bored I was. It's time for a change. And besides, I do declare that plush mustache of yours has completely swooned me. Why is everyone talking about my god dang lip hair? A man as manly as you must attract all sorts of trouble, and I want to keep you safe. Too bad. Oh, jeez. So I dare say I'll be joining you on this little adventure. I assume that's fine, Mario. Sure. Flurry has joined your party. <laughs> oh, she floats. Flurry's abilities, A Primer. Press that, and Flurry will exhale strong gusts of wind that can blow things away. Yay! If she blows in the direction of an enemy, she can make its head spin for a bit. Hold down that to make Flurry exhale continuously. Okie dokie. She can also do a body slam in battle, squashing enemies with her stage presence. <laughs> she can also aid Mario by using her Gale Force attack to blow enemies away. You're welcome. This is wonderful! It's so nice that Flurry likes you, Mario. Really, it's great! No, it's not! And even more importantly, Flurry's chosen to join us! Let's go to the Great Tree. Oh, oh hell! We're gonna show him Flurry's abilities! Yep, here we go. To the tree. To the tree. Kill me now! Yeah, if you want. We'll cut back to when we get to the tree. Probably. Okay. Actually, yeah, first we gotta show my flurry can do for fighting. Where'd the enemies go? Are they all still dead? There's a Pokemon! <laughs> yes. Whoa. Quite the stage presence. Yeah, she does. All right, now we'll come back in the tree. <gasps> Mr. Mini, Mini, Mr. Mini. Ooh, I'm definitely keeping Mini, that. Mini, Mr. Mini. Mr. Mini. How the hell's emailing me? Oh boy, I don't care. The only ones important are the ones we patch. And during chapter 3. Yeah. Hey, we made it back. You're not flurry. It's over there! It is labeled secret entrance. That's the secret entrance! We're finally getting inside! Here I go! You go do it, Mr. Punio Man. 
Aren't beauties just the most precious little things? Mario, I feel I must ask. Did you know that I used to be a rather famous actress? No. No, not I at was all. a diva on the stage. I was known as Madame Fleury the world over. I didn't know you. But the filthy air outside the spotlight repelled me, so I came to the woods. And soon enough, I glimpsed the beauty of these punies and their pure little hearts. It reminded me of my own innocence as an actress, and that made me realize. I shall ever love the stage. I must feel the spotlight shine on me again. I must! As you can see, these dear little punies helped me find my true self. That's why I must help them however I can before I go on my own adventures. Okay. Mario, can you hear me? No. Ooh. Okay, that's not how the door was going to open. Check it out, I was able to open from the inside. Come on over here, quickie. The time has come for me to repay my debt to punies. Come along, Mario. Dokey dokey. Don't tell me what to do. Get down from there. Hurry up, go inside. Okay. Stop telling me what to do! They can tell me what to do, but they can't tell Rainbow what to do. She'll fight back. Mm-hmm. Whoa. <gasps> Bushes? Oh, Bushes. No. Oh. I like that statue in the background. Uh, mm, weird. Normally everyone's right here. What the hey? Hey, Elder! Everybody, come out! Hello? Well, now... Oh god! The fuck? You bitch! What? Who are you guys? How'd you get in here? Whoa, dude, is that. Is that the Mario guy? What? He is? We better get him then. But dude, Lord Crump told us to tell him immediately if, if, if we found Mario, remember? You idiot, use your head. If we capture him, we'll get all the credit, man. Duh. Oh yeah, right on. Let's rock this jump. You really think you can? One, two, three, break! My legs? Okay. They broke my legs. Break the legs. I can't flee this fight. <gasps> oh dear, oh boy, oh Jesus Christ, they said break! Oh, here we go! You're guilty, bitch! Bella, what the hell are those little things? They look weird. That's an excellent! They're dorks who wear goggles! Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> I want that one to wait him. Hang on, wait a minute. Yes, at the break something? Here we go. Hey, you guys said break. <laughs> Your turn, break him. You hear <laughs> Hang on, I gotta heal up first. This is great. There not be another bucket coming down from the ceiling. I swear to Jeebus. I feel like I'm close to leveling up. Right, that strong man. Dude, maybe reporting back to Lord Crump isn't such a bad idea after all. No. Retreat think? like the little bitches they are. Well, well. Pretty slick work handling those guys, Mario. Seriously, where'd he go? But the question remains, where did everybody go? What could possibly make everyone leave? Oh, what the hell? Oh, Adorable little bastard. Finally, somebody shows up! What are you doing hiding back there? Come out for Pete's sake, I found us a powerful ally. <laughs> he, he's huge. Uh, are you sure your huge mustachioed man won't try to eat us? No! Uh, hey, who's that? Who else is back there? Oh dear. He's massive, I don't like him. He'll crush us! Danger! My stash, he scares me so burly. <laughs> now, don't worry everyone, this is Mario and he's our friend. He's here to help! All those bad guys? Mario will stomp every one of them just like those last goons and he'll break them with a hammer. Or his gavel. Yeah, Will. Is this it? There are so few, we'll have to make do. Let me formally introduce Mario! Wait! How do we really know this burly fellow is our ally? How do we know that you haven't eaten 90% of this food? Sorry. <laughs> he might be one of them! I just realized his antenna is different colored. It's like more orange and yellow. Juniper, what are you saying? He's not one of them. Listen, we can all fight alongside Mario and chase these goons out of here. 
We can take back our tree. We can take back our homes. Ha! Ah, big bad Punio, listen to yourself. Trying to sound all important like. You had no idea the kind of troubles we've been through while you were gone. What? What are you talking about, Bunebur? And why are there so few of you here anyway? What happened to everyone? Well, they've been captured by those goons. The Elder, everybody, including your sister. What? Petunia? Tell me, is it so? Oh, it's so alright. She was taken off somewhere with the rest of them. They said it was because we wouldn't tell them where to find the crystal thing. We told them we never heard of it. Oh, poor Petunia. Well, that absolutely tears it. We've all got to go look for them right away. What are you saying, Pet you Puno? We can't do anything to those giant goons. Besides, they aren't alone. The cursed Jabby tribe is in league with them. They're hoping to make this tree their own once we've all been driven from it. This is it for us, the end. And adding to this hairy old man to our ranks won't help a bit. Uh, excuse me. How can you say that? You, do, you can't know that! We have to try, don't you see? Think about it, if we all get together we can take care of any stupid jabbies. So who's with me, huh? Come on everyone, let's pool our strength. Ha! Puno, puno, puno. You'll have no... You'll have to convince me because I think you're nuts. At least he has nuts, stupid. What's that supposed to mean? I tell you what, you and Mr. Mustache there, that's Professor Mustache, get the revolution started. If you can free your friends who got locked up somewhere in the tree, then I'll join your little crusade. Huh, that ain't that'll ever happen. Please! Fine, we'll show you. Right, Mario? Right? Come on, follow me to glory. Let's go help them. Want to do that next time, because we're out of time for this episode, ladies and gentlemen. Leave a like and subscribe if you want more poop like this. Any last words? No, I'm good. Okie dokie, I'm going to shake this butch and say bye. Goodbye. Goodbye.